Hello, Assalamualaikum guys, and welcome back to our, to my new tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you how to perform a restore on your Hackintosh. The first thing for a restore is you need a backup, and then after the backup, what you need is if you are using a clever bootloader, that will be really nice and very easy to do that. Uh, with clever bootloader, you can perform a time machine restore. Uh, like you do on a real Mac, it's almost 99% same. What you have to do is you have to make a. What you have to do, you have to make a backup first. The first thing in the backup is you need a drive, and then you have to format it to an OS X extended file format. And if you want to put any password or encryption on it, you can do that. After doing that, you have to make a backup like this. I have made a backup na named water mask and you can see it's about 80 GB in size and 40 GB of it is used for my backups after this once you have done your backup you go back to time machine and better you check your clever model and right now I'm using 3320 any model above 2500 will be really nice for a backup performance backup there are two things in backup. One is if you are using an older model of Clover and if you are not using El Capitan or Yosemite, there will be no HD recovery there in the boot setting. Then you have to use your installer drive for making a boot uh, using as a bootloader. Uh, what I mean is you need an Yosemite or you need a Maverick Yosemite or El Capitan installer USB drive for to perform a backup. But if you're using any OS X which is later than 10, uh, 10, then you don't need it to do that. After doing that, what you have to do is you have to restart your computer and we will I will meet you in the boot sector. Thanks for watching. So welcome back. We are now in the Clever Configurator UEFI. Uh, system and I just booted up after the backup. Now I will go to do, go to boot recovery from recovery HD and press enter, and we'll wait for the boot recovery to boot up into the OS X installer's kind of setup. and it does this once and then it goes to small world with one more resolution and now we are into OS X recovery and boot setup now in here in OS X utilities you can see now restore from time machine backup reinstall OS X disk utility to repair and erase a disk using disk utility. If you want to partition your OS X drive, you can use this. And if you're using Yosemite, you can make a fast boot. You can make a raid using this. But in OS OS X El Capitan, you can't do this. And I don't need to partition. I already did. So we will go for restore from the time machine backup, and we'll press continue. And here we will say continue and I was afraid that we don't get any backup so now we got a backup I used what I mess as my backup and we'll continue and we will find the latest one so which is December 18 to the sun at 203 a.m. and we'll do continue and I will select my OS X El Capitan drive which is down there here and we'll say continue and it warns you that you will lose all your information on current drive and make sure you backed up or any item you want to keep so it, m it means that anything else than that backup will be erased from your partition you can't you'll not be able to recover 
and mostly you will not be able to recover it using any recover recovery uh, software as well for example if you are using any other software to recover you will not be able to do so so you must recover you must back up almost everything then we'll say continue and it starts to do recovery and here we will fast forward the video so you don't have to wait up all the time it takes to back up my hard drive so we are done with the backup and now the computer is going to restart and this time I will press F8 and I will go in my OSX drive mm. oh. well let's do it from here And now I will boot my boot OS X from OS X and I will press enter. And here we are. This is first boot after the backup, so it's gonna take a few seconds. And I think it's gonna ask for the my iCloud. Yeah, it's gonna ask that. So we will say, and you you might have noticed that I got my email ID and I have my internet working. got my internet working without any hassle you don't need to back up or do anything of your text that you are using no you don't need to uh, back up any of your clever drivers or the ones you have installed because they are backed up as they were uh, echoing and it's setting up my account I think this is done online every time you do a backup for the most recent things to be loaded. You all might notice I'm speaking very slowly and lightly because it's too late here and I don't want to disturb the people around me. And I, and I will say no now. I will say allow. And I will show you one more feature of my display, which is when you, you when when you move your finger around the display, it turns the second light on without touching. And here we are. Our sex is ready. To go same way we left with every application going opening as it was before and soon you're gonna find this video online on my channel which is Ibrahim Muslim and I hope you guys like it I hope you guys found it useful that's all thank you very much for watching meet you in the very next video take care Allah Hafiz